is filled with trouble, hearts are full of hate. The walls are closing in, there seems like no escape. But love's the greatest gift God gave to you and me. Fear is the lock, love is the key. When the devil finds your shoulder, he'll whisper. you someplace and I would say you old dog you I used to do that all the time and you know you may think that I was being mean to somebody but no 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 when I would say that it was uh, a saying of appreciation and respect you old dog you I think the last time I called somebody that I was in Monroe County and this fella, he always helped people. He was always at church. Uh, and I would refer to him when I would meet him someplace, I would say, you old dog, you. It was a, a expression of respect. <clears throat> Some people may get mad about that, but I used to say that. <clears throat> I remember getting out of the car, oh, years ago, I was here in Bluefield. I got out of the car and I was walking into the house and I looked and I saw two dogs behind a gated fence and they were just staring at me. And then one of them, you could tell he was the boss, a bulldog, he ran down in the field and he got a ball and he came back and he looked at me and he shook that ball. His name is Champ, and the other dog, uh, his name is Lilo. But Champ was the boss, is the boss. And I walked up there. It was the first time I ever encountered him. I walked up there, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and he shook that ball, and he dropped that ball right by the fence. I reached down slowly and cautiously and stuck my hand through the fence and I couldn't reach the ball. He took his nose and he shoved the ball up to where I could reach the ball. And I reached through and I grabbed the ball. He had to squeeze the ball to get it through the hole of the fence. And I brought it through the hole of the fence and I, I held it for a minute and he looked at me. And he, you know, he had one of those 
real short tails and he was wiggling that tail and he was very excited. And I threw that ball and it went out there and it bounced one time and he caught it in the air. And I thought, well, that's just luck. <laughs> he brought it back up there. He dropped it and he took his nose and he pushed it up to the hole where I could reach it. And I threw it again, it bounced one time and he got it. I must have did that three times that day. And every time, every time, it would bounce one time and he would catch it. I went into the house and I thought, you know, that, that was amazing. That ball was like a treasure to him. Since that time, when it's pretty weather, he'll be outside and he knows my car. He knows both cars. He, I'll be coming down the road and I'll see him looking. I'll see both of them looking. He's wagging his tail and he's got that ball in his mouth. And each and every time I'll go up there and the same, the same thing happens. I'll throw that ball five, ten times. It'll bounce one time and he'll catch it. I have never seen him miss. Now I've had some errant, errant throws where, you know, it, the ball didn't bounce, but he always brings the ball always brings the ball back. That ball is a treasure. That ball is a treasure to him. Some, he's got two or three balls, uh, and only one of them is small enough for me to reach through and get. He'll bring one of those bigger balls, and I'll shake my head, and I'll say, get a small ball. And he'll run off and get the small ball and bring the small ball. Remember last week, last week in West Virginia, we got a lot of snow, six or seven inches. And, and a few days, the temperature hovered around zero. It was really cold. I remember the coldest day, the day after all the snow, I went outside and, and the dogs, that uh, Champ and Lilo barked, and he had that ball in his mouth. I thought, gee, oh whiz, it is cold and there's lots of snow. But he, he, he was persistent. He was persistent. So I went up there and I got that ball and I pulled it through there. And I threw that ball and it went out there and it sunk in that snow. And I stood there and he... They, they ran down there and Champ was looking for that ball, looking for that ball, looking for that ball. Couldn't find that ball, looking for that ball, looking for that ball. And I got cold. I must have stood there 10 minutes. The wind was blowing too. I mean, it was frigid. And I went in the house. Well, I'd start my car to so all the ice and stuff would melt. And I, I came back out. Must have been 10 minutes. And I looked in the field and guess what? Champ is still looking for that ball. That was 20 minutes later. And I thought, boy, what can I do? Well, I got in the car, and I was driving up the hill, and I was looking at him, and he found that ball. In the six or seven inches of snow, he found that ball. I watched him, and he ran back to the fence, and he was shaking that ball in his mouth. What do you think I did? I turned around, I drove back into the driveway, and I went and threw that ball five or six times. It would bounce, and he would catch it on the first bounce every time. Huh. That is a treasure for him. He gives up at nothing to find that treasure. As I'm standing here, he's probably at the fence waiting for me to leave here and drive back. And I guarantee it, he'll be standing there, if he's outside, with that ball. Treasure. What are our treasures? Money is a treasure for most people. <clears throat> Even in Jesus' day, when Jesus was on earth and he walked around and he talked to people, probably then money, valuable things were treasures. 
And at some point, <clears throat> they were talking about hell. Huh. We don't talk a lot about heaven anymore. Why is that? Why is that? I sat in a, in a meeting yesterday for an hour and listened, listened to conversations amongst preachers. I don't like to talk on those things. But anyway, I listened for an hour, and I never heard the word Jesus once. Not once. We don't talk about heaven much anymore. But that is the treasure beyond all treasures. Nobody can imagine the glory and the happiness of that. And we need to pursue that. We need to pursue the kingdom of God. We need to pursue heaven. Jesus tells a parable in his day. He said a man found a treasure in a field. And he was so excited and so overjoyed that he sold the treasure and sold everything he had. And he bought the field. He bought the field. Heaven is the treasure above and beyond all treasures. It is such a treasure that words cannot describe it. It is where God is and where Jesus is. Now we have, we have clues, we have hints about the kingdom of God, about heaven. Jesus said, knock and it will be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Open the door and walk through it. He is the door. He is the key to the treasure above and beyond all treasures. You can't get there. You can't get there without meeting him and accepting him. Because he is the This world is filled with trouble, hearts are full of hate, the walls are closing in, there seems like no escape, but love's the greatest gift God gave to you and me, fear is the lock, love is the key, when the devil finds your shoulder, he'll whisper. 